Hello everybody, it is Safety Security Alert here today, and today is going to be a demonstration and view of our new DSC Power Series Neo security system. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, before we start the video, I would like to mention, first of all, I'm extremely sorry for not posting videos um, recently. It's because of school and all of that, but I will get back on track pretty soon. I'm going into my room. I know this is some big news. You'll notice the panel and everything is gone, and, my, my, and um, the 4006 system is taken down. I will notice there's a lot of holes from where everything used to be that all has to be patched up. All that wire mold still needs to get taken down and all that. Basically, um, we're, for our house, not going to have any more alarm, fire alarm systems. Uh, we're just going to have our own residential security system and smoke detectors for the security system, which have not been installed quite yet. So, yeah, and all, you go, all you'll see is demonstration systems. I'll get more into that in another video. But anyways, back to the security system. Here is the DSC. This is a wireless PowerG two-way keypad. Full message, LCD screen. Uh, if I press pound, I can wake it up. There you go. Or it's woken up already. But now you can see the system is ready to arm. In case you're wondering, these have AA batteries, and they do not require the AC cord. But I have it in our system, which I installed. I installed all the system for my parents. And um, if, if you don't have the AC cord, you won't have the AC light. But it, it can totally operate without that. Uh, there is the time. Um, and date. So we swing the door down. Here we have our keypad with your star, which is your enter, and pound is exit, and then your function keys, and then your panic keys, and your uh, your ready your ready check, your armed light, your trouble light, and your AC light. So that is our front door wireless keypad. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the rest of the devices that I installed for our home protection security system. Up here at the front door, we have these. Uh, wireless Power G 9945 contacts. Um, they have the magnet and the contact itself, which is they're all enrolled onto the system. Uh, we open the door, to split apart, and the keypad beeps. And you'll notice it says front door, which I labeled it. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you everything else. We walk down our main hallway. We have up here a motion detector. This is a wireless power G motion detector. Um, I forget the model, but what I will do is I will put the models on the screen. So that wire mold has nothing to do with that. That's again for the fire alarm system. And you'll see it's not going red. It only does when the system's armed and it senses motion. So yeah, we go this way. And we go into the dining room. We have a wireless power G security siren. And again, I'll put the model on. This is a really cool looking siren in my opinion. This is hidden back in the dining room so you don't see it. But uh, it has a little strobe in there where, where that little light is. And it takes a 3.6 volt battery. The big ones with the cord. And, and then over here on the sliders, we also have more power G contacts. Right there. We open it, it blinks, and the keypad beeped. And then over here on our other slider, we have more contacts. Give them a test. And yes, the chime feature is always on. There it goes, you might have heard it. They're all labeled uh, as what they are. So now um, we're going to go ahead and head down here, downstairs. Here's the garage door, it has more contacts right there. Here's the magnet, they open the door. You might have heard a beep because there's a keypad down here as well. We go in here, we have back in the way back here, we turn the light. This is my father's office. Uh, we have a motion detector right there. Um, our, everything's wireless, all the zones. 
Here's a, a big window that somebody could easily get in, which opens out so there's unable to have these contacts on. So I installed the motion detector right there. And there probably will be an installation video of the system, but we'll see. So we walk down here uh, where all the alarm stuff is, um, and we have a contact on this, on this back door. And we have a contact on this window right there. Give it a test. Oh, that one works. And we'll give this one a test. We have one over here too. There you go. And I will show you real quick. We have uh, another siren in the basement right there. And we have another keypad. This one is has a proximity support. And I'll show you what a proxima is in a minute. Um, and this is a wired keypad. This one really does the same thing. I just have to brighten this up. And it doesn't have it actually has icons for the function keys, and they're and it shows you right there what what it is. So I'm going to real quick go ahead and show you where the main alarm panel is located. You walk into here. Here it is. This is where the main panel is located. This is in our utility room. Uh, those are protected by DSC sign. I can go ahead and take the key off. That's not where it's always kept. So yeah, I only have it there for now. Uh, Power Series Neo. This is your wireless transceiver. This receives the signal from all of your wireless PowerG devices. So we can go ahead and open this. And there's the sticker. This is a HS2064 security system. Open up the panel. This is what you see on the inside. Here's, um, here's your wiring diagram and everything and everything else in there. Here is um, your main your main motherboard and circuit board. Here's your AC. And by the way, just so you know, if you're ever working on these systems, this is only 12 volts, so you won't need to worry. Uh, I won't feel a thing if I touch anything. Here's your battery backup, 12 volt, 4 amp hour battery. And you have it. It plugs into right there. Our R331X is here. This has to be connected still. Here's our user guard, and our proxy is back here. What this does is this. You can program into the system and arm and disarm by scanning it. So that's how it works. So this is again the inside of the motherboard. You have your wires. Uh, all of our zones are wireless. We have no uh, wired sirens. AC is right there. This is your wires, your red, black, yellow, green for our wired keypad. And your wireless transceiver. And that's basically how everything looks. So we can close the, the panel. Hang right there for now. And then here is your main transformer plug. This does not come wired. You need to use your four conductor wire and then just twist them together and um, just plug them into the transformer and then plug the transformer in and secure it with the screw. And then again, there will be another video on how to wire this system, hopefully pretty soon. So that is pretty much our whole security system that we have. Um, it will be monitored pretty soon, but uh, we still I didn't get that monitored yet. So, but that's pretty much what we have for the system. Alrighty guys, so it is now time to test the system. Um, so what I have done here is I have set the user uh, master code to its default 1234. This is not the code that we use on a normal base this time. We use a different code. I only have it set that way for just this video, just for testing. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the downstairs keypad. So I'm going to go ahead and just arm it to away mode by pressing the away key and you can find what it means right there. So we press the away key and it is ready to arm. So it says exit delay in progress. And now we wait for the 60 seconds for the exit delay to be up and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys, so now it is armed into away mode. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna open up this window here and set off the system. And I'm going to put in the 1234 as the default code, which is not our code again. And I'm going to go ahead and disarm the sirens. So here we go. Alrighty, so I put in the code and it disarmed. And as you saw, the sirens flash, which is pretty cool in my opinion. We press pound and now it says ready to arm. So that's how it works. 
Alrighty guys, so that was the test of the window downstairs, and uh, I disarmed it from the downstairs keypad, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to give a demonstration and test of our upstairs motion detector in the hallway, and I'm going to arm and disarm from our front door keypad. So this time, we're going to arm it into a way like we did last time, and we're going to do it from here, so you press and hold away, and this one actually has the words, so here we go. So wait a second, since it's wireless, it has to communicate with the panel. There it goes. Exit delay in progress. And we have to wait 60 seconds until that ready light goes away and it is fully armed into a way. And it's gonna think that we're gone. And again, what we're gonna do is use our hallway motion detector to trip the alarm system. Okay, it's beeping faster and it should be almost done with the exit delay. All right, it's armed into a way mode, so now it thinks that we're gone. So, now we're going to go ahead and trip the hallway motion detector. All right, guys, so here we go. We're gonna walk down the hallway and trip the motion, and you'll, you should see the red light going. There it goes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put in the code. There it goes, it disarmed, and there you go. And also, one more thing, if you want to see if any alarms had occurred, you can press star three. In alarm memory, it says hallway motion because that had been activated before. So now it is again ready to arm. So yeah, thank you all again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Have a nice day.